Hey everyone, it's Lisa Stenz from Lisa's Creative Corner. I'm super excited about the series that I get to kick off today with the creative design team all about embellishing. We're going to share ways to make embellishing easy. I'm going to show you how to use embellishment clusters to spruce up a very, very simple scrapbooking layout. I pulled out this paper packet from the 2020-2021 Close to My Heart catalog. It's called Lovely, which it is, and I really love the stickers, and I knew that I wanted to use the stickers to make some of my clusters on my layout, so I'm going through the papers right now to see if any of the colors and patterns would go with my photos, and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use. So. I'm going to set those aside and actually do lay out my photos first and then go back and see if anything um, jumps out at me and any colors or patterns work really well with my photos. And these photos were taken last weekend on Mother's Day and I was so excited because my mom and her boyfriend came to visit. We haven't seen them in a year and a half because of the pandemic and so it was just such a such a wonderful day and I knew right away that I wanted to scrapbook these fun memories that we created last weekend. So after flipping through some of these papers I decided that I didn't think I wanted to use a lot of them because the pictures were kind of busy already because of all of the floral or the the green in the background so I pulled out a piece of the wood grain paper from the wood grain paper packet and I just cut a thin strip to put on the top and the bottom of my layout just to um, to anchor it because I knew there was going to be a lot of white space and I knew it was going to need something to anchor it. After I added the strips of the wood grain cardstock I wanted to pull in a tiny bit of that blue gray color from my son's shirt and my mom's shirt and so I cut some really thin strips of bluebell cardstock to, um, to put right at the edge and to cover those seams. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere the photos to my layout and initially I had all the photos butted up against each other and I decided that because the backgrounds were kind of busy and they all, well most of them had that foliage, that green um, busyness in the background that butting them up against each other they kind of just all blended and I so I decided to spread them out a little bit and put just a very thin uh, white border on them so that you, they would stand out a little bit better so that's what I'm doing here I'm just adhering the photos to the layout so now I'm going to pull out the sticker sheet from the lovely paper packet and try to figure out where I want to put these stickers on my layout and a little secret trick that I do is I cut out my stickers and this way it gives me an easy way to move around the stickers. It gives me a lot of flexibility so I don't feel like I need to stick them down and then um, I won't be able to move them. So this way you can just easily move them around. You can add different embellishments and get an idea where you want everything before you commit and actually adhere them to your page. Once I had a general idea of where I wanted to put these stickers, I knew I wanted to add a Happy Mother's Day sentiment to the top. So this is a stamp set from the months of the year uh, set. Every catalog we have two new ones. This is the May uh, stamp and it has a really great Happy Mother's Day sentiment on it. So I went ahead and stamped Happy Mother's Day to the upper right corner with the Bluebell ink to match that little strip that I added um, to the edge of that wood grain cardstock. And you probably noticed that the M didn't stamp all the way through, all the ink didn't get onto the paper. So I just went ahead and lined it up again and pressed in that area that the ink didn't transfer properly and it worked out perfectly. I love my clear stamps because they make fixing mistakes like that so easy. When I create embellishment clusters, I like to add a little bit of dimension because these stickers are so flat. I wanted to have some things that were uh, raised a little bit. So I cut these flowers from the um, Flower Market Cricut cartridge from some cinnamon cardstock. And cinnamon is not a color that's in the lovely paper packet, but because of the shirt that I'm wearing, I wanted to pull in that color. And so I also have these Hillside Cottage wooden shapes. And these are great because these also add a little bit of dimension and they also pulled in the wood color from the wood grain paper on the top and the bottom of the layout. 
I found some of these gold pearls that were in my stash and I decided to use them to um, add a little more color to the center of my die cut flowers. And the best way, as you've seen in some of my other videos, to add uh, little embellishments like this is with a piercing tool. It just makes it so easy to pick them up from the carrier sheet and place them where you want them. So I had a small, medium, and large flower, and so I used a small, medium, and large pearl for each one. And I'm not sure if you can tell quite yet, but I'm creating a visual triangle with my um, embellishment clusters. So I've got the small flower in the upper left corner, the medium flower just down below it on the left side, and then the large flower on the right side. And so um, by creating a visual triangle, it just kind of helps um, lead your eye throughout the layout and it helps balance things out. In that upper left corner, I'm trying to create a very small um, embellishment cluster. And so I cut some of the patterned paper from that lovely paper packet. And um, there's a little zip strip that I use. And I'm just trying to figure out which embellishments I want to put up there in the upper left corner. Now that I have some idea of where I want the embellishments to go, I'm going to start adhering the largest embellishments first. I wanted this little sentiment sticker to have a little dimension, so in order to do that, I wanted to add some thin 3D foam tape. But if you add foam tape to the back of a big sticker like this, and then you put it in a scrapbook page, and some of those outside areas are going to um, actually stick down, which I didn't want to happen. So I removed all the adhesive from uh, the back of the sticker with some baby powder that I had on hand. You can use um, cornstarch or some any kind of powder that you want and sprinkle it on the back of your stickers and it basically turns it into a die cut instead of a sticker. So once I did that, um, I'm now I'm going to add a little bit of the 3D foam tape to the back and then I'm going to adhere that right onto my layout. And another trick to help make these um, embellishment clusters look good is to make sure that nothing is floating too much. I mean, you, you can have some of the smaller embellishments floating, so to speak, um, but you want to make sure that they're anchored. The larger images, the larger die cuts and stickers, um, you want to make sure that they're, they're touching something. They're touching a photo or they're touching another embellishment so that things aren't just sort of floating all over the, uh, the layout. So I went ahead and anchored that sticker, the You Make Me Happy sticker, um, underneath that photo and I overlapped it a little bit. So that sticker is actually anchored onto that photo and it's not floating away from it. So now as I'm working on the cluster on the right side, you saw that I adhered that large sticker down first. And now some of these smaller stickers that I'm going to put around it, I'm going to um, remove some of the adhesive on some of these leaves like I did on that sentiment sticker before by adding a little bit of baby powder to the back and then adding some of the thin 3D foam tape um, behind it so that those little leaves will be raised up just a tiny bit. Again, adding a little bit of dimension helps to, to balance out those clusters so that everything is not flat. So that's what I'm doing here. I am going to go ahead and add some of the uh, 3D foam tape to the back of these leaves and then I'm going to adhere them right on top of that large sticker that I put down first and then I'm going to adhere the flower on top of it so that everything is over out, overlapping just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with the butterfly in the upper right corner and I'm going to add some 3D foam tape to the back to give a little dimension to that sweet little butterfly and so I added that up there and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put that little yellow heart and um, that one I'm just kind of moving it around because I wanted to add a little bit of yellow into that area and it's such a small sticker that it doesn't have to be touching another um, another part of that uh, cluster so it's okay to have a few of the small little pieces of, or embellishments um, floating like I had said before you don't want to have too many things floating but um, that little heart is okay to be floating. And so now I'm just trying to figure out, do I want some of these other little wooden embellishments to be floating? Do I want to have them <clears throat> attached to that cluster in some way? So I think I've got that cluster on the right side pretty much where I want it. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and move to the upper left cluster and try to figure out what I want to do there. So I have these little banner shapes that I created with some cardstock and with some of the pattern paper from the lovely paper packet. And that thin uh, floral strip is actually from one of the zip strips from the top of the paper packets. And so I created a little cluster uh, with just those banner shapes and then I'm gonna add some embellishments on top of it and around it. So now I'm just adhering those to the upper left corner. And then I'm going to adhere that small flower and then start to build the cluster around that. I knew I wanted to add some leaves to that small flower, but I couldn't find anything. So I used this pattern paper from the lovely paper packet and I just cut my own little leaves from that pattern. So I'm going to tuck those underneath the flower and then continue to build the cluster around that flower. I was getting a little frustrated with that upper left cluster, so I decided to go ahead and work on the cluster in the lower left corner. So I was fiddling around again with some of the stickers and some of the wooden shapes, trying to figure out what I wanted to add down in that lower left corner. And these two little wooden leaves actually came from a different package of wooden shapes. They are from the Happiness Lives Here wood shapes. But they just worked so much better than the leaves that I found in the hillside cottage shapes. So you can mix and match all different paper packets and wood shapes and embellishments from different kits to make everything work. So that's what I did here. And once I got everything where I wanted it and adhered in that bottom left corner, that cluster was complete and I went back to that cluster in the upper left corner. Now I adhered that little uh, flower wood shape and I used some liquid glass and I decided that that cluster was a little bit too far to the right and I wanted it really to balance out a little bit better. I should have adhered those banners to the left a little bit more. So what I decided to do was to remove that um, <laughs> that wood shape that I had glued down so well. And so you can see here I'm tearing up the page a little bit. But that's okay, I'm going to cover that up because I used this little joy sticker um, that's going to go right on top of that little tear. And by putting that on the left side, I think that helped to balance it a little bit better because I really wanted, like I said, to have those banners. They should have been more to the left side. So now I'm just going to adhere that little wooden flower back to that cluster with some liquid glass to finish off the layout. And as you can tell, I have three beautiful clusters um, on this very simple page. And by having them in that visual triangle, it balances things out and leads your eye throughout the layout. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and how I create clusters for my projects. And I hope you gained some fun new tips and learned something new so that you can add some clusters to your projects as well. Don't forget to tune in to the rest of the design team's videos later this week. You're going to find all kinds of great tips on using embellishments on your projects. And I will have links down below to each of their videos as they post them, along with a list of all the supplies that I used in my project. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to see what Katie has up for us. It's going to be fabulous as always. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.